Alright, hello once again YouTube. Welcome back to more From the Dips. Uh, I'll try to make sure that the uploads uh, keep coming, but it's a short recording day today because I've only just got back and I've got so much time to do it. Uh, but right, I believe, yeah, we now have our steam transport. Now, I think I need to retrofit this for actual construction duty because I believe it's not actually built for this. Uh, so we're going to make a slightly modified version of it. Uh, and actually save it for this. Uh, where is repair technical? There we go. Get back to those at the back. Uh, right. Maybe we'll principle that. Should be set to 50 meters. 100% complete. 100% complete. See so vehicle. I've slightly saved up. Saved up. I slightly changed up the, the folders, like I said I would, to actually make these a bit easier to manage. So site for campaign, do the OO to scene. I'm spot the right delete that. Add construction ship. So to keep this thing full please. Is a user, it is a Water mode at your service. You crashed into the fortress, didn't you? Yeah. Great. Oh, I see, because it's it finished. <laughs> I see. It sped up because it finished construction. Receiving. Right. You can stay there until the okay, site of the fortress is repaired. Uh, right, let's get you out to... Let's get you start heading Moving out this way. You're actually faster than the plane. You're pretty quick. It is about the same speed as the plane. Which says a lot, frankly. Uh, right, but yes, for those who don't know, we're playing through the Safia campaign. It's a, a fan-made one. We haven't had a fight yet, which is good because we've only got one aircraft. Uh, it's our entire combat force. We do not have a lot of resources. He's got 13k on board. We need about 30 for the, um, the, the base. We'll have to build that what we've got. Uh, oh yeah, we got given some at the end of the last last uh, thing, didn't we? Let's reload that. Actually, let's get another um, plane built. Actually, because we probably need at least we're gonna want at least two of those. Really, um, any resources to be nearby? We could just wait. Yeah, if we just pull, it'll get built as it yeah as it dredges out resources. Please keep the little fella fueled once he is built. Listening. A little bit of material as fuel. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit more of aircraft recently, thanks to the uh, tournament. Yeah, for those who are, entered, who are entering the tournament I'm running, I'm doing a, a macros themed tournament with sort of missile fighters. Oh, meant to be missile fighters, it's ended up missiles and guns, but it's fine. Um, that should be ending on the or uh, yeah. entry submission should be ending on the second. So if you still want to enter, just show up in the Discord, throw your entry in the relevant chat. And Discord should still be linked in the uh, in the uh, description. Uh, otherwise, those who are entering or already have, uh, good luck to you. I've been tuning my own entry. I might even load. Actually, no, it's not suitable for atmospheric fighting. I might even adapt my. My own entry for atmospheric fighting and showed off in this campaign at some point because I'm actually quite pleased with how it's going so far. But it does not work properly in atmosphere. It's it's very much built for space operation. It needs uh, proper jets. It actually doesn't have enough thrust to weight to fly properly. Oh, that is taking a while. How's that plane going? Am I getting that? I'm going to split it off into its own force and meet up with the other one once it's done. Oh, which I guess it is. Wait till it's got about 500 resources on board, maybe. We'll send it off and we'll give it some commodities as well. Have it join up with that fleet with the recon wing. Probably got its own, not really going to be enough for even these little. Moving out. Propeller planes, because while they're not very strong, they do pack EMP missiles. Moving out. What I want to do is secure a bit of a border. So we're going to aim to go uh, lengthways. This one will be moving out to there. In fact, this one. Receiving. Anything, because that's been captured way faster than I expected. You should go out to Moving Sunsmith's here and get a blue basin. Because we're still going to need that. We don't produce an enormous amount of resources from our starter base. And I don't know 
how big or nasty the things we're going to have to fight are. I'm also noticing this, which we should probably move towards is when we can. You will immediately go that moving way out, catch that out. one because it's got a resource point in it. Listening. Moving out. Listening. You can reconvene once you get there. Listening. Listening. Okay, one cage to make sure you stay field. Again, I'll remote those two once they're close enough. Yeah, otherwise, what I might even do. Let's get another Receiving. let's get another balloon made. And a few more resources. And let's send it directly right of our starting location. I guess east, I'm not even sure that's right. Not finest hour, it's uh Need a campaign. I've actually named these a little, renamed these a bit as well. We'll save this into our other folder as well, so we've got a copy of it there. The uh, the OF3 radar balloon for this one's case, though. By balloon, I mean not really a balloon. Oh god, I forgot about the jitter. <laughs> not really a balloon. It's sort of on iron thrusters now, but it's a, it's an evolution of the old balloon with, with a radar dish hanging beneath it. It's like the cheapest way to get fairly decent comms in Anita. Right, say vehicle. Oh, hello, cat. I cannot flash you right now, I am recording. Yeah, that's fine for the name. Right, split off. Oh my god, cat. Cat, no, I'm recording. I cannot flush you. Moving out. This is not the time. Not that she cares. <clears throat> the thing is, if I held you up to the mic so you could say hello to the audience, you'd just go quiet, wouldn't you? She always does. I have tried <laughs> to, to be perfectly clear, I have tried this. Yeah. I know you would. Oh, okay, I, didn't get, I don't think I got an answer last time. Um, so I shall ask again. Does anyone know if you do get better, um, like, capture rate if you get more stuff on a point? Because I, I have a feeling you do, but I've never said it sort of confirmed, and I've never been quite sure. I feel like this is capturing slightly faster, and it's actually worth more than these planes, I think. Yes, I know. Meow, meow. Listening. Merged to a fleet. Listening. It, it, it has reset the name. First, wing on wing. I feel like they need a check that goes like, hey, is this the default generated name? If not... Maybe, like, don't Listening. change it when you add a new thing to it. Moving out. Listening. Moving out. It's not sea level. Ah, right, we're in position. Hell yeah. A friendly mother has appeared to, uh, add out. Thank you. It is appreciated. Right. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I need to actually load up the... So we need a campaign, we're going to load... How much more does a refinery cost? Basically all the resources we have now, we're going to start with a gatherer. We have a process set up for uh, upgrading one into the other, but... That should be enough. Oh, where do you think you're going? Back. Back up. Oh, forget it. I want to show it coming together, but the mate do. Listening. You are a creator. I'll start to gather some material after a point. <coughs> Good start building the uh, second one. like to capture that one as well. It's still open territory at the moment, which is why we're going that way, but I don't know Receiving. how long it will stay like that. Receiving. Gatherer should be online now. Moving now. Tracking ship can head right out. Listening. Moving out. On the on the point. Moving out. Not doing any good from that. 
There we go. Now you're starting to gather resources. And yeah, quite a bit faster than the other one, although I don't know whether that's just because it'll have some surplus. Yeah, it's just the surplus draining at the moment. Yeah, the recon wing is definitely very slow to capture. At least it feels like it's slower than the radar balloon at any rate. Listening. Moving out. Speaking of, can head out that way. I'll maybe move this one up to here so we keep a fairly good idea oh, on our territories. We do have an enemy. I think they're here. Yeah. Yeah, big old enemy warning. It's right by their territory, but I want that point. I'm sent. We're getting through them. Oh, hello. Rice fish. Ah, they are capturing territory. Yep. Good news is with this one, we'll cut them off for this entire section and... Hopefully, we can have the recon fleet start to go out this way. Or I could have the recon fleet not doing the recon, but hey ho. Listening. So, I'm going to eat by the cargo out. ship. I think it's sharing them out to be equal, but they're not equal because the storage capacity is way different. It's obviously Receiving. got quite a substantial hull, but hold, I guess. It's got a bit more than it didn't fight a style, but I suppose in that you had the, um... That limited the, uh, what do you call it, the storage capacity to half, I want to say. I believe, I believe it was worse. Let me gather it. Pull all this time. Gather it and go to the... Moving out. Moving out. Receiving. You will need... That should be enough. Receiving. There are different fleets. Receiving. But... We'll send the cargo ship down to there. Oh, first enemy appearance. Listening. Rico, when you're going to be needed. Moving out. Need to catch location. I gotta try and catch that point where it'd be ideal. To try and take that off them and not let them get it. So let's go back to our starter fort. Let's get a couple more fighters in. <coughs> We're gonna try and contest this. We do have previous craft we can use. Are we trying to use mostly new ones? But we can potentially call in help from older designs if we need them. But they are uh, expensive comparatively. So. Let's get them Moving out there. Out. I don't want them to. I don't want them to set up a, a full resource Listening. operation there if I can help it. Moving so. Out. Let's get our fighters in there. Especially since we don't have a dedicated bomber yet for actually destroying their resourcing spots, or resourcing their setups. We have two gatherers now. Excellent start. Construction ship can sail up to here. Let's try Moving and now. get that territory while we can. We will need him over here, but we'll need to actually he'll need to actually fuel up probably off that gatherer. Listening. Speed 27. I guess that's reduced because they have supplies. Hopefully they'll get some supplies off of this Listening. guy. Listening. Listening. Set to only keep percent and max. Alright, create a type. Listening. How about you? Excellent. Listening. Listening. Moving out. To there. Is that close enough to re... Moving out. Refill? No, really? Listening. 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 Moving out. Refill one. What's going on there? Listening. Listening. Ah, now it's full. Moving out. All right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is that? Eighty-five. Uh oh. No. Listening. 
moving out. Ah, I'm gonna have to call Lifting, these guys back. To moving it. out. Moving I've been out. Ambushed by a light bomber. It's way quicker than our fighters. Um. Hmm. Actually, hope that doesn't come to a fight because the radar balloon's not going to be fast enough to get away. He's not going to be able to win because it isn't armed. Although, mind you, that fight might technically go on forever until I self-destruct my own vehicle. I'm going to add these two. I think they're close enough. How close can we get them? You got, you've got resources? You do. Let's begin the fight. See what we're looking at. So, on our team, we finally got a fight today. We have two of our new light fighters. They are still suffering, yeah, a bit of a pitch issue. People have said about like the lifts too high. That does seem to be the case. Um, I'm gonna say about these potentially pivot pointed backwards. Yeah, these might be set up wrong. They might they might need some tweaking. But they do fly. And the enemy's team, they're equipped with one missile launcher each and two cannons, one on each wing. We have a triplane. A fairly sleek looking four engine triplane. And the gear and all. Tunnels are weird. Uh, however, it is supposedly a bomber. And that looks like some kind of rearward bomb drop. And I'm not seeing any turret weapons or missile launchers, I have to admit. So, unless that is like a kicks it backwards and then fires out forwards missile launcher, um, this might actually be a very one sided fight. There's the flat guns, there's the missile coming in. One hit, two hits, knock something off. Yeah, it might be showing up just in time on this one. <clears throat> oh, is that missile closing on our plane? Where did they come from? Yeah, it's definitely missiles closing on our plane. They must be from the bomber. Uh oh. <laughs> we missed though. Check over down there, just make sure we're not got shot, but. Yeah, there's another launch. It must be able to launch them backwards. Oh, come on, watch out. <coughs> I don't know which one we're in control of or not in control of. I tried to do an evade there. I have no idea if I'm responsible for that or not. The problem is it is faster than us. And I don't like the look of those missiles. I have a bad feeling they'll do a lot of damage if they make contact. We've got to hope for the best of ours. We have a hit near it. Oh, we lost the fighter. Uh-oh. I think one got hit. Yeah. Looks like we're taking over for this one. <coughs> oh, no, no good. <coughs> Too badly. We may, have a we may need that new fighter. <laughs> this might be it. That is what we can do on these to prove them, but. They might need it if this is how we're doing in our first one. That's what I thought was a bomber, although to be fair, it's a missile craft effectively. Where's our other craft? Make sure we're in command of it at least. Ah, oh, tried to roll it away. No good. Should have a bit faster. Yeah, we'll have to end that one there. We're done for. Okay, yep, not a good start. So the light fighters aren't up to taking that on. They might be enough to take that thing on. Uh, right, how are we doing for resources? 20,000, 26,000, 23. What is my thing worth? I wasn't planning to have to roll it out this easy, but we might need it really early. So a bit of a stopgap. Uh, Town of Circus, Mark 4 it is 50,000. Okay, just going to have to hold out best we can. As is for now. We might have to roll that in. Listening. Is that another one? Felix Stowe. Moving out. Listening. Let's move to intercept if we can. Moving out. We should send the radar balloon back. It'll still get a good view of everything, but we can also capture that one. Let's see if we can't take on that Felix Stowe. We could probably ferry the resource together by the time captured but it'd be nice to build it all from one spot if we could Listening. so I think we're in time for another air battle it's once again two of our fighters versus a single 
F2 is another one that's faster than us, which is not great. That might be part of the problem with these guys, that they're just too slow. Again, part of that is to do with the, the lift and slight problems there. Let's see what we're up against today. I'm seeing, oh god, four missiles this time. They are, ooh, they've been decoed to look like little sidewinder type things, that's very nice. This one is a two-engine seaplane with a rear turret. See, okay. Being primitive looking, they sure are picking, packing some non-primitive weapons, although... Guidance questionable, that was no one us. Ah, they're laser guided, okay, so it might be they just didn't have lock. They do this time, we won't get another shot, so. Okay, yeah. Oh, and AMP as well. Ooh! Hang on a minute. One very good hit has disabled an engine. Have our fighters done it? Potentially, it's spiraling. Oh, but they have got lock. Actually, no, have they? No, it's not got lock, or it's got inconsistent lock because it's blocking its own guidance. Come on, fight it. If he's downed, he'll kill him. He will probably smash himself on landing. Eh. Hey. Alright, well that one went a little better. Listening. An enemy craft destroyed. One of ours damaged. Is it repairing? Yep, sent. Not sure. We may need to call back the uh, repair craft, but... Okay, so we're not completely outmatched, even with just the other propeller fighter, but we do need something to take on that bomber. You know what, rather than use a pre-existing craft... We'll see what we can do. We'll keep, we'll keep going for a bit for now. And maybe next episode I'll maybe build something new. I'll, t I'll make use of the knowledge. Because I, I liked building the... I liked building the propeller aircraft, so I'll maybe build a propeller fighter. It's more of an actual fighter. How fast has it got to go? 85. It's got to be able to do, what, should we say 100? Stand much of a chance of chasing that thing down. And if we can't make it work, we'll, we'll roll out the Macross fighter. But we'll have, to, we'll have to modify that for atmosphere anyway, so... Yeah, it's real fast. If it goes straight for our base, we might actually lose. Um, where is he going? 3-0... Here, okay. Or potentially we could tweak it now, maybe into a fighter variant. Yeah, let's do that now. Actually, let's make a improved fighter variant. So you've already learned. Law wise, will say we learned our lessons for our initial engagements. We need it better. Design mode. So this is the this is the one I was talking about, by the way. This might be it doesn't handle very well in atmosphere. You can probably see it's not tremendously fast. It's a little jank once it gets up to space. Yeah, now you can see it accelerating. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's why I'm saying we could potentially call this thing in as a uh, emergency thing. But she is quick, but right. However, we are operating in atmosphere, so let's load that plane, and let's see what we can do about it. Either basing it off that or, or tweaking it. Uh, no, not torn it. Uh, campaigns. Stuff here. Let's see what we can do about fixing this. So, yeah, I mentioned these are facing backwards, right? These are... Pitch and zero point five. Yeah, it's definitely generating too much left. Let's do left factor zero point five. Oh, all wings on this vehicle. I said all up to that, and then. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely too much at any rate. We do it to... 
Olipsen. B36. 20%. B40. You know, we could do 40 just by setting its lift to like 20% maximum. 15. Wow, we made it worse that it's faster now. We'll call it. Uh. MK2. Let's load in. What was it called? We thought a Felix OF2. I think that's the second one we thought. Yeah. <clears throat> Does it still maneuver okay in a fight? Uh, it maneuvers a bit weirdly, but. It appears to be yeah, it appears to be all right. I think it's trying to it's take it's trying to get away so it can break off. I think and then come back around again. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, that appears to be moving much more nicely. Actually, yeah. Thank you for the comments for uh, people that are pointing out it was probably the lift. Did you hit the propeller again? It's been shot down, but yeah, that works. Cool. Okay, well that's an easy fix. Yeah, let's still get a let's still start work on a, a monoplane fighter. I think that would still be fun to have, so Okay, if the, if the other one is a sort of fighter bomber, this will be a dedicated fighter. I think I just called it a fighter, but Right. Said the word fighter so many times it lost all meaning. Uh right. If we do that, and then we'll have the cockpit set up front, up top. Engine. Yeah, what would be the best way to do the engine, actually? They probably want to be wider than this. Hang on, it's probably the wrong way to do it. Let's have a quick look at how, they, how they've done theirs for size. Yeah, we're not. We haven't seen this one yet. Oh, right. Yeah, those are all got big boxy chassis, aren't they? The engines aren't really in them. Uh, what do we have for external engines? Nothing on this one. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. So they've got a blocky one in the core. That's true. Uh, hmm. God, what would be the best way to do a fighter that isn't a jet? Because I'd like to do this one as a, um, as a propeller one still, but. Maybe, hmm, I probably need to look one up, don't I? Uh, I guess I'd need to, the engine would be the main thing, right? If I decide an engine first, let's do that as the thing we do today, and then start work on the engine next episode, or the rest of the plane rather next episode. If we do, so let's put it there, we'll put it at ground level, make sure. It doesn't have to be a particularly big engine, but it has to be powerful enough to run couple of things, maybe. We could just go injector, injector, and a radiator. Some radiators and see how that does. Is that enough? Probably is a uh, fuel storage box. How much power does that output? Nine. Oh, stable 1158, huh? It's temperature, isn't it? If we added a little bit more... We added some exhausts. Here we go, say... It does help. Even do it like that and have it at the front of the plane kind of thing. Thirteen hundred. Ended up being a bit square faced <laughs> for a fighter, but uh, what could we do? We could do that, do that, and then like that. Yeah. 
I don't mind it being a little bit block it, block faced. That could actually be kind of interesting looking, but don't want it to be too overkill. If I even went like say that. No, it's not got a scoop coming out of there. Actually, no, I think it looks better with the hexagonal front, honestly. Uh, and then air. Power hub. Yeah, it's basically me going, I guess, stinky little. I was, I was thinking, like, ah, I'm on fighter variant. I'm thinking, like, actually, probably in reality, this is more of a. Hmm. The little one I built is not quite enough on its own. I, I do like the idea someone else came up with converting it to a torpedo bomber, and I'll probably still do that as well, but. Had a quick seat to it and whatnot. Yeah, we'll run this as both our fighter and our. Hey, we need to we need to improve our stuff because it's not enough at the moment. Get that properly later. Right, Stable power was what's it? Thirteen hundred. Should be enough of that. Oh, I guess it hasn't steadied out yet. What speed are we looking at? Oh yeah, that's that's plenty quick. Yeah, okay, I think that'll work. Got an actual cabin up there and some sides on it and whatnot, but yeah, what's that? Okay, that's what we can use it so far for this sort of thing. The engine covers and whatnot. Sort of style, I guess, shielding the, uh, the engines of applique panels. Yeah, I might redo this part actually as a full block. Maybe a. Yeah, like that actually. Okay, we'll go with that. That'll be the front end. If anyone wants to suggest what we could potentially do from the, for the the back end, or well, not the back end for the yeah actually for the back end as well as well as the uh, the cabin. Let me know in the comments, because I'd be interested to, to know what you guys think. Does that block the exhaust? It does not, but it looks bad. Okay. Go like that, yeah. So, yeah. We'll call that one there. This would be the... Have we give this a name? This would be the 004. Oh, this, actually, this could be the medium fighter. Of course, we've got the light fighter. This could be the medium fighter. There we go. There's the roll for it. Like a heavier, faster monoplane uh, fighter. Yeah, it is running steadily now. Now, first is this engine. It's not particularly well designed. Half material 400. Hey, that's not awful. Material 2.2. Okay, that's a bit worse. But anyway, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.